pleasant good morning to all the saints of Calvary Pentecostal Church. Today is a special day. Today is the 1st of November 2021. Today is the first day in the beginning of the rest of your life. What are you going to do with it? My advice to you is to make it count. Let me tell you something. One of the most important things you can do in your walk with God, in your Christian experience, is to hold true to your promises that you have made to God. You know, yesterday's sermon, Examine Yourself, was indeed a word from God, a special sermon for me, and I trust for you also. Let me tell you, straight off the bat, I'll be in real with you. The Spirit of the Lord bore witness to my spirit that that message was well received by everyone on the platform. Let me tell you something. Nothing makes a pastor more content, satisfied, happier than to know that the people of God, they are growing, they are maturing, they are receiving the word and applying it to their lives. I am, ex I am especially excited today because after yesterday's sermon, for the whole of Sunday evening into this morning, I have been receiving a confirmation from the Holy Ghost within my own spirit that yes, that sermon, that message yesterday really hit home for a lot of people. It really registered into the hearts and minds of God's people. And a lot of persons heard that word and made a sincere decision to examine themselves and to take their walk with Jesus to the next level of holiness. I know it. God has borne witness to me and I am rejoicing with you. And I am saying, take the day today. This Monday is going to mark the beginning of the rest of your life where you are going to set yourself on course for a brand new fresh start a better walk with the lord jesus christ you are moving towards holiness moving towards perfection arise from your slumber your greatest challenge now or one of your greatest challenges is going to be that device that is in your hand. <laughs> yes, the cell phone that you are using to look at me. You must be empowered by God and allow your willpower, that God-given gift that you have from God called the power to choose. Put it to good use. And then the fact that your power to choose is aided and assisted by the Holy Ghost no more so you can make empowered decisions. So the cell phone has no power or no control over you. God created man to only be in subjection to God the creator, but no other form of creation. So you must be able to say to the cell phone, after I listen to Pastor Scott and this video is over, I am going to take you off and turn you over. And I am going to spend some time with God. And spending time with God is as easy as being able to say thank you, being able to ask for help, being able to pay God some compliments. And all you need to do in your quiet time, and I trust that you have awakened early and take some time first to think about all that God has done for you that you need to say thank you for. Think about your various challenges that you need help with. And then think about how good God is and how you plan to pay him his compliments. And then before you are about to pray, think about your favorite worship song, that song that resonates and registers to your spirit. Or maybe it would have been a song you heard yesterday. I heard a song in yesterday's worship that has been turning in my head and in my spirit. You are greater than what people say. I just, I love it. Nice tune. 
But you must have some favorite tune and you hear in that song in your spirit. The easiest way to begin your, your prayer time is to begin singing by singing and ministering to the Lord. And somewhere within you singing that song and ministering to God out of your spirit, you are going to get a breakthrough where you just branch off into prayer and speaking to God. Before you know it, 15 minutes, 20 minutes passes by quickly. Yeah? The best time to start is now. Fulfill your commitment to God. And don't only make it a today thing, a Monday morning thing. But little by little, every day. Your greatest challenge is going to be consistency. But as I mentioned yesterday, every challenge you have, Ask God for help. Don't try to pretend before God that you're on top of your game. No. The easiest way forward is to depend on God every step of the way. I'm excited. The Lord has borne witness to my spirit that the dynamics has changed in the spirit realm for many persons in Calvary Pentecostal Church. That word was a word of deliverance. I'm telling you something. Every time God intends to do something new, he sends a word first. The fact that you receive a word is an indication for us of what God intends to do. God sent a word asking us to examine our, our lives with the intent to change and become more like God. And the reason he did that is because God is poised with full intention to assist us in that change process. So you are not embarking on a journey alone or a journey that depends on your human strength alone. You are about to rise up and to accept God's challenge to go to our next place of holiness and to live like God. And not too long after you make your first step, wow, you are going to experience something. You are going to experience the rushing in of the Holy Ghost to help you make the remaining steps. All you need to do, take the challenge and make that first step towards God. I'm saying to you this Monday, take the day. I'm saying to you, move mountains today. I'm saying to you, slay your, your Goliaths today. I'm saying to you, shut the mouth of lions today. Break chains today, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, take victory today. In Jesus' mighty name, and not just today, but every day for the rest of your life. God is on our side, and he is rushing to our aid. God is doing a new thing, and it's marvelous in my sight. Until we meet again tomorrow morning, God bless you. Now let me release you. Come on, make some love to the Savior. Spend some time. God says he's missing, missing your presence. And start your day right. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.